Hello, in this tutorial we have what we got in previous tutorial and this is uh, our character with a simple animation, a standing animation and, and work, a walking animation, okay? Something like this. And what we are going to do in this tutorial is to get our character uh, shooting. We have a gun here and we are going to make this gun shooting okay the first thing we have to do is to parent the gun to the hand of our character okay so let's go it's very simple we have just to move the gun to the hand in the right position side view like this more or less like this let's see we have to rotate the gun something like that you don't have to be perfect let's go to rotate a little bit like this aha uh -huh. okay to get uh, our gun follow the the hand we are going to use the bond parent, okay? So it's very simple. We have to select the, select the armature in post mode and select one bone. For example, this one, the hand bone, okay? Now I'm going to select the gun and with uh, pressing shift, I'm going to select again the hand bone, not this one, this one. Okay, now I, as you can see, I have the gun selected and the bone selected too. So if I push P now, Control P, I and I select bones. Now I have a bone pattern. If I move my armature, the gun follow the hand. Okay. Okay. I'm going to push P to check that everything is working well. P and as I want the gun follow the hand of our character okay the next thing I'm going to do is to create a simple animation a simple uh, aiming an animation to do that we have to go uh, with the armature selected we have to go to the NLA editor and we have to add a new track Okay, select the track, go to the first frame, the frame one. Okay, like this, I have to go to pose mode and selecting the bones, selecting and rot rotating the bones, uh, make the pose. I'm going to, first, I'm going to mark the X-ray armature option to see all the time my bones. Okay, like this and go back to the pose mode and I'm going to select this bone from the side view this side view I'm going to rotate the bone like this and from view we are going to mm, local coordinates rotate oops no local normal like this uh-huh the other thing you have to do is as you can see rotate the bones until you get your desired position for the gun okay something like that don't have to be perfect the hand too a little bit and now i can rotate the gun if i want to okay if i think the gun is not properly parenting to the hand I can rotate the gun now and I don't lose the parent something like that okay good enough for me for this tutorial so I'm going to mark the keyframe I'm going to select oops the arms bones like this and I'm going to push a and mark click on lock location rotation lock rod okay I have a keyframe right now okay I'm going to move to the I don't know 
20 frames for example and mark the same lock rod the same cave frame okay and to finish my uh, my action my animation I have to click here and I have now my uh, a new action is called armature action I'm going to change the name so I have to go to dog sheet and select armature action and change the name here I'm going to call it Amy okay so I have a simple aiming animation uh, uh, do you you have to realize that uh, I have only uh, selected use it these bones okay not all the bones only this one why because when I'm working when my character is working I'm going uh, the, for the working animation the character is using all the bones but I'm going to preserve to uh, only use these bones for the aiming animation so uh, my character is going to be able to walk and aiming at the same time okay so uh, let's go to configure the logic panel to make this okay I have to uh, select okay I'm going to go to object mode the armature is selecting now and I have from previous tutorial the walk and stand animation now I'm going to add uh, for example the mouse I'm going to make my character aim with the right boot, right bow buttons. Perdón, sorry, right mouse button. Uh, here, right mouse mouse button. So when I click right button of the mouse, my character is going to aim the gun. Uh, and then controller and uh, action act like this I'm going to select the aiming animation I'm going to use loop stop I think the first frame is 1 the last one is 20 and I'm going to blend the animation a few frames like as we see we saw in the previous tutorials okay so if I do that we are going to see what happened I'm going to click here too and I think I need <laughs> this one for previous tutorial okay so if I push P and I click the right mouse button my uh, character is aiming but as you can see it's not working properly why because I have to use layers the aiming animation have to be in a higher higher layer okay a higher layer from the income a higher value that the rest of the actions this is the layer zero the standing animation and working animation is layer zero too so I have to go to the layer one for example if I push P now my chart is working and if I am as you can see my character can walk and aim the gun at the same time okay as we see as we saw in the shaking hand animation the shaking hand tutorial the previous tutorial okay so I can stand aim while standing while breathing and while walking too if I release the right mouse button my character stop aiming the gun okay now what we have now to do what we have to do now is uh, make our gun shooting so it's very simple I have to add chief A and empty right here in front of the gun okay let's see the right position something like that okay I'm going to rotate to make my uh, 90 degrees to be sure local the X uh, axis is pointing in front the front of my charter is the red axis the X one okay 
No, now I'm going to parent to the bone, the empty, as we did with the gun. So I select the armature, post mode. I select my uh, empty and I select a, uh, the hand bone, okay? So now control P, I select bone, and that's all now, well, if I move the bone in edit mode or in the game mode, uh, the empty is following the hand, okay? Now I need a, a ballet. My ballet is going to be just a simple uh, cube, mesh cube, like this, but we are going to scale it in edit mode, this is important something like that for example now in the y axis like this for example and I'm going to make it uh, uh, yellow for example like this go to materials new one diffuse color we're going to make yellow, okay? So it's going to look like a flash or like a little piece of fire. I don't know. It's a simple bullet, okay? Just to show how it's working. You can do it better if you want. Okay, now I need uh, the name of the bullet. We are going to change the name. I think it's here. We are going to call it bullet. Ballet, I don't know how to pronounce correctly. Pronounce. Okay, let's go. And a uh, uh, very important thing, I need my bullet go to a non-visible layer. So I push M and I move the bullet to the last layer. This one, for example. It's not working. My computer is not fast today. Now, okay. Be why? Because I'm going to use the add object uh, actuator, and this actuator needs to the object that we are going to add needs to be in another layer. So I select the empty, and I'm going to make my gun shooting when I uh, click in the left mouse button. So I have this and I add an and controller and I'm going to add a edit object add object bullet object. Okay. Join this and join this and let's see what happens to fix what we need. If I push P right mouse and if I push left button as you can see the empty uh, put the bullet but in a very rare way why por qué why because uh, i need to do uh, some modification first of one is the okay let's go to the layer where the bullets it's and as you can see uh, the xy so, mm, the orientation of the bullet is in the the y axis, the green one, and my empty is the red one, the x one. So we have we are going to rotate in edit mode my bullet like this, ninety degrees. Now is the right orientation, okay? And I have to be, I need to be my ballets a dynamic object too. So here in Factice mode and very important, in Blender game mode, no Blender render, Blender game. In Blender game, go to here, to uh, physics options. I'm going to say Mm, to my ballet, I'm going to make my ballet a dynamic object. Okay, dynamic actor. Okay, like this. And I'm going to make, I'm going to 
Okay, for, no, not for now. Let's see what happened now. If I push P and I shoot, my ballet is falling to this floor. Why? Because I didn't have uh, initial uh, velocity. So in the X axis, X, Y, Z, X axis is this one. We are going to set the linear velocity to five, for example. Okay, um, click here to make this velocity local to uh, orientate it to the this local axis. Okay, so let's see what happens if I shoot. Okay, a little better, but it's not too much yet. I'm going to go uh, to the ballet layer. If I push P, the layer is falling. We are going to add some configuration to make my ballet don't fall, okay? So if I push on here, I'm going to add an always, an always uh, sensor and an and controller and a uh, motion actuator. I'm going to give to the ballet a force that uh, pull up the ballet, okay? So in my Z axis, X, Y, and Z, I'm going to set the force to 9.8. Why? Because uh, 9.8 is the uh, gravity, uh, how is call it? Uh, the, the gravity, the acceleration of the gravity, okay? If the mass of, uh, I don't care the mass. It's, uh, this gravity is the force is pulling down my object, okay? So if I make a force in the, in the with the same value and the uh, opposite uh, direction, my ballet now is not going to fall, like you, as you can see, okay? So if I go back to my game and I push P, now, if I shoot, the ballet is not falling, okay? It's going straight. I can make the ballet go faster or slower as I, as I can, as I want, but now it's working well, okay? To shoot something, I have a box here. And I'm going to make the box dynamic too, and mm, which more collision bones box, okay? I'm going to duplicate this box like this. Let's see what happened. Okay, and now I can shoot the boxes as you can see, and it's the the ballet is uh, collision collision with the box in a right way. So I have a we wanted to do a working and shooting gun to our way, our games in a very simple way. Okay, there are scripts that make it better the, the collision, the velocity, or whatever you want, but now it's the simple, simplest way to make uh, our character shoot. Okay, um, that's all. Thank you for watch. I hope you can enjoy the tutorial. I hope you can understand my English. Um, that's all. Thank you for watching.